Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Dominion over curses. Any aspect of the kingdom life that you do not have sufficient understanding of, please listen carefully. You will always experience the reign of darkness in that area. The Bible calls part of the cadres of the demonic kingdom. There is a class of spirits called the rulers of darkness. That means their dominion is on the strength of the absence of light or an inaccurate understanding on how to apply that light. You know, misunderstanding and ignorance are the same thing in the realm of the spirit. One who is a possessor of light but cannot apply it adequately and one who is barren of that light, both of them are destined to have the same outcome. So it's not enough to be possessors of light we must also be possessors of understanding. The system in the kingdom by which we apply this truth. You will be learning a lot this night. And I trust that God will open our eyes in the name of Jesus. In the course of this very brief teaching tonight, God is going to be opening our eyes. And we are going to be seeing a lot of things as it concerns our lives, our families, our destinies. But much more than the knowledge, God will hand to us the keys that will not only help us to rise above it, but help the people in our families to rise above it. Praise the Lord. If I look at the baby that Shalhoma is holding, and I call that baby an adult, I can argue based on whatever scientific fact I can choose to even say she's not holding a baby whether I decide based on my perception to assume she's not holding a baby or not the truth remains the truth are you getting what I'm saying the Bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth there are certain realities as far as our work with God and our work in the kingdom is concerned that if we do not pay attention to and sustain the grace to be able to bring those things under the feet of Jesus, we will live absolutely defeated lives. And one of it is what I'm going to be teaching you tonight. Dominion over curses. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 very interesting scripture please give us that scripture lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 i want us to read it as loud and clear if you are a child of god ready one to read one more time 
stop what does it mean and they are not they are what that means they have left the scene something started with them and their presence departed from the scene but whatever that something is the bible says and we have done what the word born there is the word inherited our fathers have sinned and are not it was only fair that whatever trouble will go with them but the bible says we have borne their iniquity i hope you know the bible says all scripture was inspired of the holy ghost holy men wrote right as they were moved by the spirit the second scripture i want us to look at is proverbs 26 verse 2 and then we'll begin to establish a few things proverbs 26 verse 2 i want us to read one to read as the bird by wandering as the swallow by flying read please so the cause causeless <laughs> look, look at this. This, this i'm already laughing because i don't know how many of you went to school but i think that this was written in basic english so the cause causeless shall not come in other words if it comes there is a cause the condition for it not being there is that nothing caused it that means the presence of any kind of predicament is a sign that it was intentionally initiated the bible says there is a law and this is the law that the a cause causeless shall not come it didn't say shall not stand it will never even manifest in the first place so the fact that it was able to appear in the scene of your destiny regardless of what caused it this law was properly obeyed for it to find expression it says a cause causeless shall not stand it shall not come there are so many believers who do not understand the laws of the kingdom and the systems of God like we have been discussing here. This is part of accessing spiritual intelligence. And um, we confess so many things we do not understand in the body of Christ and we are largely victims of situations and circumstances. There are so many people who do not even believe that there is such a phenomenon in the dealings of men in the earth called a system where men can experience what the bible calls a cause the word sounds insulting the word sounds antichrist the word sounds degrading but it's interesting to know that the first person who used it in the bible was god The first person to reveal to us that there is a possibility that a man's life can be programmed to experience woes was not even Satan. It was God Almighty. Now think about this. God himself is using something. Are we believers? Ah, look at you looking at me as if you left your Bible one year ago. Is it not in your Bible? When man fell, the Bible says, and the Lord God had the voice. I mean, and they had the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day, correct? And he came and said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? Then he said, the woman. This madam you have kept close to me, did this and that and that. And because of her, I got into trouble. Woman, what is this that you have done? She said, the serpent and he turned to the serpent and the bible clearly clearly tells us number one the serpent was cursed that he would crawl on his belly and he shall feed upon the dust of the earth correct then god turned to the woman and made another pronouncement of pain in childbirth 
Then God turned to the earth, innocent earth, and said, Cursed are you for the sake of the man. Thorns and thistles shall begin to come out, and in the sweat of thy brow. That's the mystery of hardship. God, using that same statement, the second experience was with a man called Cain. When Cain killed his brother, and then God called on Cain, where is your brother? I said, am I my brother's keeper? And God said that the blood of the brother crieth from the earth. And then he cursed Cain. Correct? And when he listed those curses, a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be? And Cain turned and even negotiated. Remember in one of our teachings we explained that. And he said, no, 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 no. Whoever sees me, whoever sees me, whether he has no business killing me or not, something upon me will force him to want to kill me. And God said, all right, I will put a mark. Without that mark, anyone can kill you. So it's not about who kills. It's about what is making them want to kill you. Listen carefully. Please follow me tonight. You are going to learn a lot. A cause causeless shall not stand it's like saying every time you see water in this bottle it was intentionally put it cannot just appear write this down what is a cause ah looked around and suddenly realized that you've been so good to me Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. Who am I that you are mindful of? Who am I that you hear my cry when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of? Yeah. Who am I? You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence, not you. You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, are you? My hope and my joy, are you? My confidence, are you? That means the operation of a course cannot be studied intellectually. You must be able to study from the standpoint of the realm of the spirit. A course is a mystery. The second thing I want you to know about a course is that a course is a spiritual force. A course, listen carefully, is a spiritual force. A cause is a spiritual force. Are we together? Number three, a cause has magnetic characteristics. Like you talk in magnetism, an attracting power. It can attract certain things to its victim. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. Let's take it very carefully tonight. A cause is a mystery. A cause is a spiritual force. Then a cause is magnetic. It has an attracting power. 
Number four, a cause is always negative in its manifestation. A cause is always negative in its manifestation. There's no such thing as positive cause, no. What is a cause? A cause is an invocation. A cause is an invocation, comma, a programming. A cause is an invocation, a programming. That is designed to attract woes and calamities to the life of its victim a cause is a what an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities pay attention and listen carefully in the life of its victim It always has negative effects on the life of its victim. A cause can be made manifest in the life of a person through utterances. Let's be very fast. Utterances and pronouncements. Utterances and pronouncements. The Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that utterances and pronouncements have prophetic implications whether from the positive dimension or the negative dimension every time an utterance is made the bible tells us it has an effect that is supported from the realm of the spirit that every time i open my mouth to utter an utterance the bible tells us whether it was done in ignorance or it was done intelligently that there is a support system in the realm of the spirit that helps to back the outcome of that pronouncement so the bible says say not before an angel i made a mistake causes can find expression through written words this is largely seen in not much of this is understood in christianity but when you study world religions, you find out that there are many religions that um, work like a legal system. They have from slates to books to mantras to manuals and all kinds of things. And all of these gadgets and these documents are a system. And whenever they are invoked in a certain dimension and a manner, they have capacity to program woes upon the life of the people. These are the basic ways that the Bible reveals to us that a cause can be communicated to an individual. Now, very quickly, what is the character of a cause? I'm being very, I'm, I'm talking tonight like a lecturer because I want us to pray and I really want everybody to understand this. It is easy to know that a territory, listen carefully, maybe let me change the word and call it a siege. Let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you. But the name is a cause. If I change the name, it's only for your comfort, not to change the reality. It is called a cause are we together our idea of a cause is someone who offends you then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause no no it is that idea that makes us feel guilty say no 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 i didn't offend anybody no in this world once you are alive you have to find out what happened before you because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence. Are we together now? 
it is easy to know that a personality a family a territory is under a cause the first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities please pay attention patterns patterns the classic indication of courses and blessings in the bible is patterns patterns the same way the same way you can know that a man a place an individual is blessed there is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition are we together yeah so we look at the life of abraham isaac jacob the israel of god and we see a pattern everyone who spoke against them was judged by god there was something upon them every time they violated his dictates they were given to their enemies it was a pattern patterns are very common in the lives of people now we just pretend that they are not there you see let me tell you something one of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith listen carefully is because of insincerity when you want to approach spiritual things you must be open-hearted and sincere are we together your heart must be broken and contrite this pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere there are patterns as far as finances are concerned there are patterns as far as family lives are concerned you turn and look around the average family in africa and you will know that there are patterns now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture don't be quick to just say no 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 but it doesn't exist i think i did something about it a cause causeless if it still remains the cause is there a cause causeless a cause causeless if i have a boil in my hand and i go to doctor if i come to you and i have a boil in my hand you will tell me that this boil is a reaction it's an effect of something is that true the boil is showing that something is wrong so the cause is not the failure the failure is a message the patterns are a message they are not the cause the cause is spiritual the cause is an atmosphere it's like a cloud it's like a mantle that an individual can carry has capacity to break barriers has capacity to follow you it can pursue a man it can overtake a man the bible personifies a cause in deuteronomy 28 you see that he spoke to them a list of blessings and then causes he said it will pursue you and overtake you travel to london travel to uk travel to your village go to school marry be wherever it can follow you it has that capacity that limitless ability a quality only given to spiritual things a cause is not failure a cause is not barrenness a cause is not retrogression all those things are messages they are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man hallelujah are we blessed Joshua chapter 7 let's look at it very quickly something interesting happened there we read verse 1 then we jump to verse 10 to 12 Joshua chapter 7 verse 1 and then we jump to verse 10 to 12 but the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing for Achan the son of Kami the son of Zabdi the son of Zerah of the tribe of Judah took of what and the anger of the Lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot 
help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the lord said unto joshua get thee up wherefore liest thou toss upon thy face because they were defeated a small city defeated them and joshua went to god israel had who sin it never said a can had sin we're bible students he never said a can had sin he said israel had sin and they have transgressed my covenant which i commanded them for they have even they 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 have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12 therefore the children of israel could not stand before their enemies but turn their backs before their enemies why they started by taking something at cost and in verse 12 they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said no i can't let this thing go like that and he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and god was watching and god said israel you have seen and all of them think of the innocent people that died in the war they were all preparing oh god will give us i mean if god gave us jericho what is ai a small town and in their midst someone smuggled an item and all of a sudden they went to battlefield imagine them moving warriors and they were utterly defeated and joshua the embarrassment was too much and he went back to god crying and god said stand up please this is not the issue of prayer you need to understand i need to give you understanding don't just lie down crying for nothing he said israel has seen they took something and by this time he said they themselves were a cause he said neither will i be with you anymore except he destroy the accursed from among you the accursed was no longer a thing but a person a cause is real i wish they were not i would have just told you i was joking let's be serious now a cause is real don't you see them in your family i know you act like they are not there don't you see them around listen carefully don't you see them in the life of pastors don't you see them in the life of apostles, prophets, great people? A cause does not mean you are a sinner. Write it down. You have to get this. A sinner like one possessing the name. Listen, listen. I want to teach you something. Just pay attention. Whatever you don't understand, just keep following. A cause is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against God. There are many families. There are many individuals carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist. It doesn't happen. But we are watching with our eyes. Remember the Bible says a cause causeless shall not come. Meaning if it comes, don't just probe the effect. What is the cause? Back to my boil example so i have a boil and my hand is swollen and i run to the doctor and say doctor help me and the doctor looks at it and smiles and says ah your white blood cells are fighting something are we together now they are fighting something or um what they call this thing fever sign ah pastor jt good to see you i didn't realize it was him hallelujah and then fever sign and then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere when others are feeling cold you are feeling hot correct you try to stand in the sun you start feeling cold again you don't know what is wrong with you that reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere whoever wins you will soon know if you don't recover it's a sign you are not winning and that means you must seek assistance and the doctor will say okay i need to introduce something in your life and then he introduces something and all of a sudden things start changing and you cannot enter
enter your body to know whether you are winning so you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering all of a sudden listen a boil that refused to go you put rub it refused to go you put local herbs are we together palm oil it refused to go immediately you know something is wrong this is not sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else the boy is saying it doesn't matter where i come out i can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there but when the doctor explains to you the issue is not the boil the issue is and sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it he introduces something to your system then a boil causeless starts drying you watch it dry and it disappears and within a week you never believe anything is there then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone so don't sit down and tell me no boil is swelling we are all watching it grow you say no boil we are seeing it we are not stupid a cause causeless shall not stand you may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now you may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you so you are thinking you are the one sowing a day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding there are patterns that should not happen to believers if they are happening something should be dealt with it should not be ignored it should be understood and dealt with brothers and sisters hear me i tell you the truth by the authority of the lord jesus christ causes are real yes they are yes they are there are families today that all the men in that family never move forward they never rise they never become anything Ejimi, the men do not have to be irresponsible they are sincere people very sincere people there are families where every month per year somebody must die regardless of how sincere they are loving people it can even be after a church service on their way back they die after a prayer meeting rattling in tongues for hours you can't say they don't love god there are families if a man looks at you and says i love you even that man what will happen to him that night he will never repeat that statement again now he doesn't know why you too you don't know why you think the issue is okay am i too fat let me be on a diet no you are trying to rub palm oil on our boil remember our story i know many hard-working men hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached linkedin level no brothers and sisters we are intelligent how many graduates you see in a family seven graduates the only employed person in that family is a driver are they so stupid they are not lazy they will tell you they are not lazy most times we think it's because they are unserious and people erroneously say don't forget it's just that they are not hard working please be careful some of you as you are sitting now if you are to be sincere you know things are not all right there are families when you give birth to people things happen there are pastors hey, Jimmy, they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry anointed remember my story born again filled with the holy spirit working miracles but still oppressed by demons i went to people quietly and i said what is wrong they said don't oh, don't worry man let me tell you i don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me the demons didn't respect it shocking call the name of jesus nothing happened how do you call the name of jesus on a crusade ground and somebody is walking out of a crutch and you call it for your life and nothing happens i knew i needed to understand something your victory starts when you are humble when you have 
He said, no, no, no. There has to be a puzzle to this equation. It can be God. Mysterious sicknesses. There are people today carrying hepatitis, A, B, and whatever. It's, they don't have... When you go to the hospital and say, I have hepatitis, they ask you who had it in your family. Even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference. There is such a possibility. The fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit. The fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality. Something, listen, something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand i have watched sincere people a jimmy bound sincerely there are pastors today as anointed as whatever. You look at them, you think it's the Holy Spirit. No growth, no increase. And it's not only ministry. It's a pattern. Anointed. Born again. Nothing happens. No growth, no increase. How many people have they thrown away from, they went to US. Just when they went, they went with complete papers. As soon as they were vetting people, one got missing. And you know that they didn't even hear. They said, look, let me explain to you. My papers were complete. They said, come and explain to your embassy in Nigeria. And they drive them down. What of all these devilish things that fly around people's body? Fibroid. Lump. HIV. Cancer. See it killing men now? Once a man is 45 years old, he starts getting afraid. Ask the doctors, they will tell you. Prostrate cancer. Once people start getting to 45, 46, they are, now, they are now afraid. Because of cancer. Once a lady is approaching 28, 29, even doctors start saying, marry fast though. Because any moment from now, and every stranger will start growing. So once you are 30, and you are not married, they will tell you, look, there's no room to hearing God. Just hurry up and get all your children fast. How many do you plan to have? Five. You need at least ten years. Hurry up and catch up. It's nonsense. The devil is a liar this night. Patterns. How about barrenness? A trace of it. How about fruitfulness? But that not productive. You give birth to ten children. All of them are useless. There are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the wedding. Now, they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else. They don't know themselves. But it happened. I have counseled people like that. Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as that. And tonight, God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion. It is not just about what Christ has done. It is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart. We have claimed things that we don't know anything about. Let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know. I think it was you, Sam, I was talking to. Minis the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years. You are a ministry in Zaria. If you survive three years, you know the mystery of continuity. After three years, something must arise attempting to rubbish your life. A scandal? Are we together? One kind of failure. Something will just evolve out of nowhere. There are so many people, especially music artists, They've risen from Zaria. Men of God risen from Zaria. But you don't know where they are today. You see a musician just appears. And for six months he's been invited everywhere. And after that you just go stale. Next. We are waiting for the next person. Yeah. There 
there is a level the devil pegs men and pegs their destiny you never rise beyond a level there are families is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance it's okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see i saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters i've shared it with you very sincere people none of them died a good death mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels some of your fathers are like that they started working from 22 as it is now if you send them 5,000 they will kneel down and say thank you it's a cause it's a cause some of you are in school as students but they are calling you from home anything for this month you say mommy just take it easy we keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong see let me tell you you don't deal with it you marry it follows you there you don't deal with it you because as you are married once you are standing with your necktie two of you are bringing everything you represent and you move into the house do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards it is because they are open to the prophetic but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of god they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out so they say no 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 and truly what they are saying is not a lie they say your trouble started from the day this lady one lady come all of a sudden you said you marry her you now got married you were a millionaire in five months five months you are looking for ten thousand to buy a new shoe mysterious things happen your first car got missing the second car police police caught it the third car is somewhere else your truck capsided like that the driver slept off listen and your life is reduced back and then you now go to a man of god i'm not i'm not talking against men of god you know i love the body of christ but you go somewhere and then the man genuine man of god now looks and says ah who did you marry Tosi. <laughs> thank god you are even still alive it's just an example darling just an example are we together now give me your hand now. run away from me you want to deny me now to sin be nice to me be a nice wife are we together and then the man you see men will consult quietly they will announce in public is the anger you see publicly the man now returns home good evening darling or honey say see let me tell you I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure. He stops eating your food because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure. And this lady is sincere. She loves God. Are we together now? And they cannot... Why will you call such a nice woman a witch? She may not be a witch, but she's connected to something that is causing that effect plus the one you are now bringing we have not even talked about the word of the man hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things and you find out that things don't work in people's lives that's why in certain villages they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what cost it doesn't happen in your village where they isolate a group of people and say these people whoever marries who either die or something and sincerely speaking you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love love is blind and Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes you now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that Why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account? How many children grew up with him? 
two children he's still poor there are families win lottery get anything they will still be poor it has nothing to do with money it's a system listen the system of causes outlive those who cost it it can outlive it the primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance our grandmothers and great grandmothers you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children never went to a hospital no cs out of those 14 children one was a set of twins one was a set of triplets and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and pleased this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria are, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them they didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything burn it <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work if i didn't know this i would have been a failure all my life are we together i have seen this thing happen with all humility I don't know how many of my extended people especially from my paternal side that I can look and say this person is successful today no no causes can come directly from God <laughs> directly from God this is not the cause of the law the cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing as ancestral causes. There is such a thing Number three, self-inflicted causes. Self-inflicted causes. There are programmings that can come upon the lives of people, which is a product of self-infliction. The cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you. Is a cause the moment 
you are not in Christ you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation that from dust thou art and to dust thou shall return that tons and thistles shall come upon your ground and with the, the sweat of your brow shall you feed there is a cause that is upon creation it cannot be taken away you can only be exempted from it hear me please that is the reason why the old earth will be purged there is a reason why fire will purge this earth there is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now individuals born by default in sin did my mother conceive me he says and you are a victim of it mortality is a cause that came with creation there is such a possibility that a man can extend his life you can access the reality of God's life failure the cause if you are not in Christ listen you are not in Christ you qualify for the sinner's cause it's not something bad it's not even about what you did it's a reality God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways and then I said number two ancestral causes ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities there was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities you see that in ancient Babylon you see that in Egypt the sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods there was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them an agreement a covenant causes operate on legal grounds they don't operate by mistake they operate on legal grounds there is a legal system in the kingdom and don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne a system that God is obliged to honor who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will that's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight who can stand against my king no one can no one will oh when you walk out of this many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways remarkable ways your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again there is such a possibility that a man can sit down bless on the left and on the right an effulgence of zoe the reality of god's life practically at work in a man and they look at you and say pastor alpha is it true that you came from kogi state with this rest roundabout the witches left you they didn't leave me i came out access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there I came out by a mystery of exemption this house I built it at what age 27 where did you get the money from 
the only person that built a house here was the king of the village and he built it at 63 and you tell them well 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 welcome to a new order where intelligence creates reality do you know you would die and you say no no the same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house you had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can they are like Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of God is a mystery I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil I don't know poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no sir I counsel a couple age me they got married their wedding night that's supposed to be a night of joy their very wedding night a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing I did to your mother is what I would do to you she true story she got pregnant according to what she told me they were even happy people were dancing and in the night this stranger came again and this is all he did on her stomach and she got up in the morning bleeding profusely as if she would die machines don't diagnose causes machines cannot detect the presence of demons they only detect the effect of their presence we went to Ida we always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference and I remember one of the years when we traveled there he took us on a tour and began to explain to us we went to greet the king the man refused to see us later on and then we went somewhere and I saw foul remember market square one market square that we went I saw it there with my eyes and people were passing whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there witchcraft is real if you see anybody rising he is exempted or yet to be a victim you hear what I said exempted or or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others I say it's because you don't know the day will do you he will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil said just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened you say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again <laughs> brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception The Western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way. Because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things. Oh, they leave it to all the spiritists and the, uh, the, the transcendental meditators. And all of them come. The nation of America, listen, their fathers understood this mystery. They walked in power. And when Satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to God, he left them and started growing with their children. He said, let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground. And he started growing with the children. And all the children came up with all kinds of things, you know. I mean, there's, if, if you are sick right now, you cough, ambulance is coming in five minutes. And so they don't believe it now. Look at the disaster happening in the Western world. Where people can kill themselves on YouTube shoot their children effects 
they laughed at us in Africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say hi my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant there is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there a manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness poverty and causes If we do not get this we will destroy ourselves every time i look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what i tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast i look at these dear ones and i'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedence for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that it's me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that it's me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well? Secondary school, brilliant people. Wayek, nine papers. They step into the university and all of a sudden, 100 level result, nine Fs. You think they are dull. They are conducting tutorials. But they enter the exam hall. They only remember in the night when the exam has finished. It's not everybody who is lazy. Let me tell you. What of recurrent sicknesses? There are people today there is no months they don't fall sick go to the hospital they will tell you nothing is wrong now the doctors are wiser thank god for spiritual people becoming doctors they don't waste time again the moment they diagnose you they see that you have come once twice they'll say do you know what find any available crusade and run quickly go to the front early and stand there and trust god to wipe your tears that's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens 
I look forward to times where God will give men and women of power. The moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out, you detect by the spirit, this is witchcraft. Right there, Shagato Soto Labaya. Help that lady. Rekete Kataya bush. And all of a sudden, you find out that that woman gives birth. Koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons. Let me tell you, make no mistakes. Only God knows how many powers try to kill me every day. I told you all the time. Only God knows how many people take my names to shrines. Oh, it has never happened in Israel. There was a woman called the widow of Nain. What killed her husband? She had only one child. One child. The husband now died. The child now died. On her way going, Jesus saw and said, No, this is not the issue of burial. I need to change something here. There are families. You will see them in a community. 32 people. Only 1% of them are men. And all the men are madmen. They are not they are, their brains are not even in place again. Madmen is a woman that pays the school fees of children, is a woman that drives car, is a woman that builds a house, is a woman that does everything. All the men become useless. You see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer. It's a cause. There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to Harvard, came back, anything they start die. The day you want to start importing it, that's when government banned it. Why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start? What of people in ministry? They think it's normal. Everybody they raise disappoints them. There is a spirit. They raise so many men, but they disappoint them. There is no helper. A man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith. You should have people to, you should not beg for bread again. But there is no man. You call for help, there is nobody. Some of, you see some of these women walking on the street, 71 years carrying firewood. Where are the children she gave birth to? Where are they? One is in prison. The other one is security somewhere. And they're about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent say programming you reign you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we, Kadosh, you were mighty on your own. Listen, help me. 
how can a man lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job is it that dull see let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray listen listen to me when you study the laws of mechanics sir isaac newton postulated a law we call it the first law of mechanics and this is what it states that everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen if you buy your first car at 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony take seriously what i'm saying what of ministries there are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers you will see a church with members but prosperity zero when it comes to finances you will never see increase in that area but tonight god put this body in my heart because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shut the womb of a milka david's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying it's a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god 
the house of God is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready Psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us Psalms 102 verse 13 read it if you're a child of God 1 2 read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of god the mercy of god is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only passed through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of god is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of god is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of god is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him 
the Lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the Bible tells us that the Lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the Lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when I get to the end of my road I know that I am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness I am not a tighter I am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card I danced it did not work I prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of God you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah samson lost his strength to delilah the bible says his eyes were plucked the symbol of light in his life and the mystery that surrounded his power his hair shoven completely and they took him the bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of god everything was over but at samson leaned there they didn't watch the hair grow he said oh lord he cried for mercy and the moment he did that see there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercy meaning my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake but it is of the Lord's mercy somewhere in my work he creates a system a provision see let me tell you it is on grounds of this that the Bible can say rejoice not over me my enemies for when you think ah there was a time his car now had an accident will he ever rise again don't go Ah. the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy you are finished mercy and Samson pushed and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of god is an attribute you need in your life it's not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood 
to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy 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 jesus met a woman by the well when he met that woman by the well they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt jesus you're a bad woman and jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what i have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when david one day the bible says when kings go for war david was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was bathing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently yes, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of israel i should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between cain and david Cain killed Abel. Blood started crying. Meaning when David killed Uriah, blood should be crying. Correct? David went, wept, 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 wept. When all of that happened, you would think that after the, the child died, he would now tell the wife, he said, okay, go. I will marry you again. Who was the mother of Solomon? <laughs> he did it again. Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God wants to destroy David. David would just find he knew how to just tie God down. God said this is a man after my own heart a man that understands not even Moses was called a man after his heart mercy this is what our families need this is what we need this is what many ministries need this is what many businesses need let me tell you something we are rounding up there is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy number one a broken and a contrite heart write it down arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of god's mercy for as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving you will never have it great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercy i see day after day
the blood, we invoke his mercy. For you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything, you are a joker. But the mercy of God has a way of exempting you. The mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot. The mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life, regardless of what was seen about you. A particular prophet now came and met David, correct? And then started to speak to him in parables. There was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody, somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said, who is that? Was angry. Say, you are the one who, watch this. Do you know David was supposed to die? We have a series on mercy that we'll deal with. I don't want to go there. But do you know when you read that scripture, when David asked for mercy, God said that death had been taken from him. David would have died. David would have died. The wages of sin is not sickness. The wages of sin is death. But mercy. But mercy. But mercy. There are some of you here, legally, you are supposed to be failures in life. So based on that concoction, those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of god the mercy of god the mercy of god over your life invoke the mercy of god over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now, come and make up. I look at you and I say, look, you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you. And all of a sudden, you kneel down and say, sir, I am sorry. Do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once? I look at you and say, ah, I hate you, but you have done something now that ah, on a very good day, what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there. As we travel around, I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me. When I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life. Sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look 
I say, except for the mercy of God, who dash monkey banana, who really dash monkey banana. You see, it's not false humility, it's an acknowledgement of truth, the mercy of God. You are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account. You better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a dimension in ministry. I believe in principles. I teach principles here. But let me tell you the truth. There are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works. There are still gaps. And one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill. That's where his mercy comes in. And he amplifies and multiplies little things. And your life becomes a sign and a wonder. Because I have seen women who never trained their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love god they are wonderful people walking in the ways of god but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever Love him forever because this God is too good. See, way before I learned certain principles, I knew now I was already getting their results. When I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified. I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before i knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before i understood principles of church growth and increase i had been seeing the hand of god and it's, there is a science to growth if you don't know it it should not happen but mercy 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 tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful. I think I'm intelligent. I should be a millionaire by now. The pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy. One of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes, against yokes. Listen, I've seen people, Ejimi, they are not even born again yet but sincerely you know they call it in house of Ferengini. you've seen that happen they take their names to the herbalist and the herbalist will reject it and they are not born again they don't love god they don't know him but their hearts are so sincere somehow they know there is a god out there and whoever it is they are grateful to him and god says protect them regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful their hearts are wicked yet god protects them i've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man god will deal with you but you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead they never fear anything they hear that there is crisis bomb will explode where you know they are in the night you still see him back safe and hale and hearty you didn't die and he laughs that guy doesn't take communion that guy has never attended prayer meeting 
that guy has never attended miracle service he doesn't even know what his genotype is honestly he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy all he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to god destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not for there is a blessing this is what has kept some of our parents home because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died since it would have it would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration when i didn't know the principles of long life i imagine what would have happened and i wonder how many things i do not know now that i will know in the future how i walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy i give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the god of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight i want you to sing for me the stanza of that song himela himela Oh, Kaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows the stanza? Inela, Inela, yes, Just that stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness. Your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy Oh, hallelujah To receive the kind of love that you give But I'm grateful for your mercy Hey, Kawa, Kes, 
And you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord, and the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusations. And he said, Is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, The Lord rebuke you. Listen, the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan. I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Repeat after me. Invoke mercy. The voice of mercy. The voice of mercy. The voice of mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. 
I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey. in for mercy come on now in for mercy hallelujah hear me the bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out Blot was he praying hear me a cause causeless shall not stand a cause causeless so if the blood of jesus takes away the legal access the effects must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted you need my life Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia, are you praying? Listen, listen, listen. 
when you activate this you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State I did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is caused I exempt myself I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen I like you to pray with all your heart and say I begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God Koinonia, are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you S.S. That made you A.S. That gave you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of lost The spirit of failure The spirit of failure Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you. Plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of Jesus I command freedom I command liberty I command freedom I command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ He said, the earth is caused for your sake. He says, with the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, He says, and if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ And Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativisms right now in the name of Jesus that mark be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of Jesus every 
blood related issue pass to you by covenant I blot it out of your body right now I blot it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but I want to prophesy right now I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with God you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the Lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of Jesus the Bible says every house is built by some man but God is the builder therefore I decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ in the name that is above all names I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 Make it more, make it more, make it more, make it more. Make it more. The prayer answering God. Shabbat. The prayer answering God. There is a God that answers prayers. Koinonia, he answers prayers with his power. He answers prayers with the anointing. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing is answered prayer. The anointing, Kato Soto Kata is answered prayers barakoto the anointing is answered prayer it is by the anointing there is no other way it is by the anointing please lift your hands the Lord is going to do a very quick walk tonight 
I'm hearing people crying in the spirit. And the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed. Delayed by the power of darkness. I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay. Bring them out. I stretch my hands. Delay. You come on that judgment. You come on that judgment. Delay. Delay. I stretch my hands. All the overflows online. Anyone here. Any family. Under the spirit of delay. Bring them out. Sakoto Shabariata. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The fire of God. Breaking the chains of delay. 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 Bring them out. Delay over, over forever. There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketoko Sotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three. Please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three and I want to pray for you. Overflow three right now in the name of Jesus, right where you are, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing the number 24, 24 people right at overflow three. The Lord is breaking delay, breaking delay from them, breaking delay right now, breaking delay. Hallelujah. There are still people. Listen, I want you to believe in what God is doing. I want you to have a testimony. Without an encounter with his power, it will just be a religious service, I promise you. And you will go back. It is the power of God. The power of God is what draws the line. Hallelujah. Delay delay God is not yet done where is that family oh Lord that nobody has moved forward I'm seeing delay don't worry God is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family Jesus Shokos Ketosia Help this woman. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast tonight. There are many things to do. I want you to be sensitive. The Lord is showing me a vision now. And I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave. And I'm seeing an angel of the Lord pull it out. 
and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection I declare and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family I release it now hallelujah hallelujah I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage one two three four five six seven i'm counting seven stones and the lord is saying these are tight destinies this is the whole destiny of a family seven of them but may the sword of the god i serve in the name of jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances i decree and declare by the blood of jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah i'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of jesus christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance I command deliverance right now. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what he is some of them connected to families and the lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands i want to pray now i believe in deliverance i really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as i'm praying for you now i'm seeing a rope a rope i'm seeing a rope and the lord is saying that i should set this mama free i'm just being fast because i want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what i want to do now i want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth 
it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people i see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice now listen don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you it doesn't mean you are possessed no that's a different thing altogether some of you as you are here you are representing your family nothing may be wrong with you as a person but because of your family are you ready now lift your hands father in the name of Jesus you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice i send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the Holy Ghost ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you 
Stand up, please stand up, sir. I'm looking at you in a vision and I'm seeing you are not alone. You came with some people, your children, one, one child, your son, eh? Only you? No, there's a son. He's here. Where is he? Come, come and stand. Daddy, I want to pray for you that this life of hardship, God wants, please stand up, please stand up. You don't have to kneel down, sir. This is your dad. I want to pray for you. You came believing. Eh? August, is it Augustus? I'm hearing the name Augustus. Augustus. Is it Augustus? Is it Augustus, Augustine, or something? Augustus. Please, if that's your name, let me just talk to you quickly. I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that... My sister, come. This lady, this one, not you. You are not a woman, my brother. This, come. Lift your hands. Shout over. Over. Forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, if you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you there is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son and I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus, over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and prosper. By the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel. Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine. Come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine. I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. Is that... Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel, too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There is a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Yetu. Yetu. What is Yetu? 
I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or Y E T U or Y E T U? Something like that. Y E T U. Something that has to do with Y E T U. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Y E T U. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Y E T U. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Y E T U? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But yet I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. There is a copper. Something is coming on you, my dear. Let me pray for you. Don't worry if, if I if all I do I, I just lay my hands on you. Um it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel. Gabriel, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's there's bad luck in your life and your family, but it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, What? Why are they coming out? What is why you? They named somebody after the idol, and the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State, but the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale, who was Ale, something like that. Ale, who also, who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God. You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata, Reketos Kote Satariatosia, 
Lake Ketabos out of their lives now out of their destinies now daddy let me pray for you sir this is your first time here no sir i've been coming sir you've been coming sir yes i want to pray for you what do you do sir sir what do you do i'm a staff of a med i have to pray for you sir because I look at you and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, you know what they call the cause of hardship. You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever in the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. Jumai, Jumai, Jumai. Is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai, I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than, older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. Shadow Susi Atakata. Kratos kala brinde skosi kateri atoshi. I command that spirit you must go now. Hallelujah. Please just allow me. This is Juma. I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of Jesus, there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of jesus there's somebody here you lost your job in the month of march march you lost your job Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if he's a person in his family, maybe overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something. You lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please, quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You are a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. 
What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you'll get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. Where? Where have you been praying for? Huh? Sorry. Where have you been praying for? For a job? Uh, same bank. Bank the same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people, and since there was nobody to stand for him, they joined everybody and threw them out. But in the name of Jesus, whatever should not leave you and left you, I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me. I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three. Yes. You sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in a hospital. Which As hospital? An accountant. Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see. We don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just to Get back the job. Back to that place. No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job. Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul. Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You will go and return with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We're coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get to the to Mama, I want to get to the I want to get to the I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression, let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. 
Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts. That's all we come to do. In your name. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly, particularly, no matter what overflow you are in, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here and then part of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we are going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you are in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting God for a miracle. I want you to connect right now by faith. Hallelujah. So we're going to do three things at the same time. Number one, you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers. Number two, you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you while preparing our faith. And then number three, we'll come out. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. So let's do that very quickly. Very quickly, please. You're trusting God or you came with a sick person. Now is your time to come out, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. I don't know. You reign on earth. Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. It's what we've come to do. Casting crowds. We are lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's what we've come to do. It's in your name, we will rise, I don't know, you ain't on high, it's in your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. You came with her? Yeah? In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. 
Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we'll coordinate. We'll make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. Ah, we have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Uh, is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles. In Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We will need more hands. I don't know... If we still have people, I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship team. You are going to give us, we are going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change master free. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know how to do. Can I hear you say to my only you? Do what only you know how to do. Can you lift up a voice and say, Do what only you do know? Do what only you know how to do. Hey, I'm a change. I'm a change. My story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know how to do. Somebody say, Do what. Do what only you know how to do. I said, do what only you know how to do. Do what only you know how to do. How to do. How to do. Come and change my story. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Do what only you know. Do what only you know. Do what only 
Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. 
I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy, let there be strange miracles. Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whatever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar, through the internet, to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted, we force them from their hiding places to appear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever must die for this request to be answered, in the name of Jesus, the ground opens and swallows them. Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted, we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people. It's for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity. Clarity. God is answering questions now. By the anointing. If that fire comes on you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity. Clarity. All the overflows. Clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings. 
that will translate as answers should i stay here or should i relocate somewhere else should i start the project or should i stop every confusion and anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now an anointing is answering it now hallelujah hallelujah i'm praying for everybody but i'm seeing particularly overflow one an anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things i'm about to call it into your life now and as that anointing comes on you just know that it's your time of recovery lord where are they where are those who have lost things that need recovery shakata kata kata shakata kata kata proskete kata everywhere 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 inside outside outside the grace for recovery the grace for recovery i release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they shakatos keta brakatos kakatekatos inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh? i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus
Kai, wickedness is real. I held these ladies and the Lord showed me a vision. I'm seeing a man, a real herbalist, sitting down on the ground. And I'm seeing something that looks like a pot. They are writing names of people with blood. Blood, not chalk. They will write it and throw it inside the pot. Write it and throw it. This is an Igbo family. Write it, throw it inside the pot. Lord, I don't know why you showed me this vision. But in the name of Jesus, I don't care where the family is. But in the name of... First, my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't like the prayer point, say amen to the one you believe. But my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist, this is someone's destiny. These people are here. Oh, I'm praying. You may not even know you are the one. I say it again. Whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name? Whether it's your marital destiny, whether it's your breakthrough, in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow that wicked man. Who say na? Who say na? Who say na? Who is that, please? Let her come, please, quickly. You are who say na? What's your name? Huh? Who say na? I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? FCT. You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too? Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to? I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command it. Let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo. Taraba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you a miracle. Now. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job. Something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cost. You start a building project, you finish after ten years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening. In the name of Jesus. I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing. You print like... Um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person i want to pray for you
You are into printing. Uh, I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, I'm not saying if you want to do it, if you are currently doing it, you are into it. For how long? Since my, my childhood, sir. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina. Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here. I'm serving in Kadzara. In because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something. Losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police. Because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? Books, everything. In every press. Books. You yes. too? Your dad? All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when, I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you work there now. It's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for me now. I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. Uh. Hassan. You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen. When you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family. But you look smart. You don't dress. You see, no shoes. Your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you. It will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. <laughs> Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house. Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray. It. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time, this is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this. It's almost as if, please, who is that person? You are a tailor. You sew clothes. You are a serious tailor, but something just happened. I'm seeing the month of April and everything just went down. You are the one? You sew clothes? Where? Yango. Who knows you? If you are a serious tailor, they should know you here. Who are, who, you've sewn people's clothes here? Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sew their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need you are a very good tailor. I'm not I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I, I'll send some people. That's what I'm saying now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish. And now the person is really angry. So these are some of the things we are talking about. As God steps in, let's allow his mercy. Just tell them sorry. Because you I want you would have been far more than you are now. But there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory. Hold my hands. He must go now. To draw from you again, again. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand you are a student and you are doing it you people too you are tailors see the tailors are now coming out we will pray for your business please all tailors do a good job we believe in excellence don't say I'm praying for you publicly it's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes do a good job praise the lord do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Two school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown. In two weeks, we are graduating our students. 243 students. Imagine that you get the contract to do their gown. If you do a good work, 
God will honor you. If you do a nonsense work, people will not endorse you just because it's the house of God. Praise the Lord. My brother, you want to study? Where? Oh, you are a student? Yes. Be okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor? In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for Taylor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the Taylor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing. Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault. It's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you're in a relationship with this lady. And you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry. And then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your clothes or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you are a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too? Where? You are in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please, don't, don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase
Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Whether you're a tailor or not, after this, you don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs, you are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. It's not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things. No, no, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers. Some of you overnight, just by this prayer, by miracle service, October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas, what you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field. So that it will open doors for you. May someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are trying to sell properties. There's nobody to buy. But if someone comes to buy it, God will use it to honor you. I call somebody to buy it now. In the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my God make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Esther the village girl became Esther the queen through favor Ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz I don't know who I'm prophesying to but the favor that would change your story in one month I release it to you right now I release it to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman there please there are people from January till now you have never testified. It's not that you don't want to come out, but nothing has happened. I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare, may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level. You have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open. I open that door for you right now. I open that door for you right now. Any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body, you get healed right now, two weeks you are back again. You get healed three weeks you are back again. I set you free right now. Help that. I set you free right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes I declare may the Prince of Peace may the Prince of Peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love God you are a well-mannered lady no husband I'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but I decree and declare every lady here ready for a relationship a godly one I call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of Jesus the God that can lift a man from a dunghill may that God lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle I release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ all those writing exams shakatos kata prati alakatos in the name of Jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well I release it upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ All our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of Jesus we give you admission here I don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of Jesus grace for retention receive it There are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life i re i release upon you grace for completion in the name of jesus the last prayer point and we're done give me two minutes i need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God, but right now you need prayers. You need serious prayers. Prayers, zero. Fasting, zero. Word life, zero. Passion for the things of God, zero. You are not bad, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here overflow one overflow two overflow three take a fresh fire for your work with god take a fresh fire for your work with god hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the, the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen result and you stop I release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting God 
as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i call starting now listen we are rounding up god and prosperity can go hand in hand god and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave god to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point god is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands i want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen mm. there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs wonders diverse manifestations i will not end this meeting without this impartation i'm praying now at the count of three let an unction let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand one two three take it now healing anointing take it now prophetic mantle take it now grace for signs and wonders receive it may your hands become healing hands may your hands become miracle hands deliverance hands favor hands hear me the grace to win souls like never before i know it's old school i'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work soul winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise every expectation you brought here whether i mentioned it or not i'm agreeing with you now within 24 hours let your miracle start within 24 hours let your miracle start those of you who came from far before you get to where you came from you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you 
who continually invites people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of god to people when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people may the god i serve bless you clear the way for them as they come hallelujah hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you